Hey ladies, this is Mocha Mommy here bringing you another video. And in this video, I'd like to honor the memory of two young black women entrepreneurs who have been unalived and their cases remain unsolved. Um, Shanquilla Robinson of Charlotte, North Carolina and Destiny Harrison of Baltimore, Maryland. Both of these women um, have are believed to have been unalived by known associates or friends. And both of them still have open GoFundMe pages. And Destiny Harrison's case has been open since 2019. And Shankula Robinson, her case still has no arrests. So let's definitely keep their families in our prayers. And uh, definitely please check the description box for how to donate to their families uh, resolving their unsolved cases. So with many of us leveling up, think about leveling up, on our way to leveling up, uh, it might be hard to deal with the grappling and paralyzing fear of who do we trust? Who can we trust in times like this? Um, who are the people who we should surround ourselves with? How do we vet people we surround ourselves with? Ladies, I'm going to give you a couple of red flags and green flags. That's just going to let you know how you can best protect yourself enforce your boundaries. And even though nothing in life is 100% guaranteed, I hope these can help you move through life confidently um, so you can still continue your level up journey and being able to network and make friends. About a year ago, I made a video called Hip Hop's Midlife Crisis, basically talking about how middle-aged men um, typically tend to act out when they realize that they're quote unquote past their prime or have hit the wall professionally, personally, and they begin to act out. Ladies, that's the same for women. So when you see women who are proudly flaunting rich auntie vibes, women who around this time of year are proud to show off and brag about their grandchildren and being the family's matriarch, um, preserving family traditions. Uh, those are typically green flags. A woman who is very secure in her age usually will be a good ally, advocate, or possible mentor to you. So uh, I've been listening to a podcast. I'm going to do a um, review of it for December, but the Sage podcast by Allison Felix, where she um, definitely interviewed one of her mentors, who is Melody Hobson. Now, Melody Hobson, several times during that interview, mentioned how she was 52 years old. Multiple times she said that she was 52, and she was very proud of her age. So, ladies, when you see that, that's a green flag. Someone who is not afraid to dress and act and participate in age-appropriate behaviors. Someone who's not afraid to mentor, to take someone along, to talk about their past, to talk about their past journeys. Those are green flags. People who don't dress or act age appropriate, those are red flags. So ladies, look for women who are proud of who they are and all that they've accomplished. Women who can say, hey, I'm 72 and still look good. <laughs> you know, the older women at the gym. Uh, Taryn Hall just did a whole episode about um, her turning 52 as well and being really proud of all that she's accomplished in her years and how she's keeping herself healthy and had a bunch of other women who are all of the same accord. So ladies, women who are proud of their age and experience are definitely good allies to have moving forward. Another green flag are women who've had a lot of long-term friendships. Women who can proudly talk about the girl that they grew up with, um, the friends that they've had since elementary school, how they've reconnected with people from their high school reunion and still have a great relationship. People who whose kids have grown up together and now that their children are grown, they still have maintained a friendship. Women who are good at maintaining those long-standing friendships usually are green flags. Another green flag are women who are organized and are planners women who organize their spaces, women who organize their time, women who organize their activities and their structure, women who have a level of discipline and organization about them, uh, who plan ahead and are respectful of your schedule and give you enough advance notice, who definitely keep on 
top of deadlines. Those are women who are green flags. Those are women who you definitely want to get to know and take advice from. And if they are offering mentorship, either directly or indirectly, those are women you definitely want in your circle. The next green flag is the woman with common courtesy. The woman who may run to the coffee shop and ask if anyone else wants anything. The woman who will refill the coffee machine after she's taken the last cup. The woman who will make sure that a new water bottle is put into the water cooler or the refrigerator is restocked or reloaded after she's taken the last one. Women who demonstrate those little common courtesies, uh, holding doors open when she sees that someone's carrying something or helping someone pick something off the floor if they've dropped something. Notice the women who have the common courtesy. Those are usually green flags. I know that the world can be a scary place, especially for those of us who really suffer with some level of social anxiety. But what I really want to encourage you ladies to do is to keep your eyes open for the positive, fill your mind with really positive ideas, podcasts, and information so that you can not just recognize dusty behavior, but you can recognize the positive behavior um, of some of those people around you because it's probably a little bit more common than you may think. Listen, I understand that safety is everyone's priority, especially in these day these times that we're living in. But I just want to encourage you that good people still do exist. They're giving great advice. They're in your corner and rooting for you. And that you can continue to open your eyes, options, and opportunities to really great people because it is a really great time to make friends, connections, network, and to level up. This is Mocha Mommy, and I'll see you in the next video.